Wow. Why did they give up? I don't think we necessarily had it there. Um, all right, I'll take it. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be jumping back into standard. I know yesterday we did some historic brawl. We also had a channel update video so please do go check that out. Also just a quick reminder if you're not already please subscribe. It really would mean a lot to us. It would be extraordinarily helpful and you are also entered to win a free Crimson Val bundle uh, this time around and November 24th is when we will be announcing that here on YouTube. But Let's talk about today's deck. This is a bit of an odd one. Uh, this is Grixis Lich. So the idea is uh, we're gonna try and abuse Demi Lich here. So it's a four three for four, but costs one less to cast for each instant and sorcery you've cast this turn. You'll notice we've got quite a number of instants and sorceries that are all one mana. That kind of eases up on the cost here. Uh, whenever it attacks, exile up to one target instant and or sorcery card, excuse me, from your graveyard, copy it, and you can cast it this turn. Uh, you may cast Demi Lich from your graveyard by exiling four instant or sorcery cards from your graveyard in addition to paying the other costs. Uh, kind of an interesting card. I don't know if it's that good, but we're going to try and turbo this out. Now, additionally, we also have Retriever Phoenix. A 2-2 two, two for 4 with Flying and Haste. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, learn. Uh, as long as it's in your graveyard, if you would learn, you may instead return it to the battlefield. You'll notice we do have quite a bit of learn stuff in our uh, deck here. We do have Eye Witch. We also have First Day of Class, which is kind of an interesting card, but the idea is to hopefully help Turbo out the win. Um, I should also mention at this point, too, uh, that most of this deck is actually uh, created by Fisher King. Uh, over on Aether Hub. I did swap out just a couple of cards here uh, to see if we can make it a little bit more efficient, uh, but the idea is pretty straightforward. We just play a bunch of instants and sorceries, hopefully fill up the graveyard with some of these, and then be able to re uh, replay them from the graveyard and maybe even replay some instants and sorceries along the way. I don't have super high hopes for this deck, I'll be honest. I just really, the Demi Lich really caught my eye, and so I was searching up some different builds. This is the one that really stuck out to me. I think uh, there are more efficient ways to do this. Uh, and in fact, I kind of would be curious. Yeah, so I do think with Tormenting Voice and things like that, you might be able to do a bit more. But I wanted to give this a fair shot. This is the first one that really caught my eye, like I said. And so I wanted to see what we could do with it. It may not work. I have no idea. But we're just going to give it a shot and have some fun. Uh, it's right before, obviously, Crimson Vell is releasing. Uh, and so I'm not expecting a whole lot of positive out of this. I just think it'd be a, an interesting deck. Uh, we do have a full uh, sideboard here as well, just in case uh, to help with this as well. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into a few games. And let's see what we can do. All right, guys, and here we are. Uh, do we like this hand? It's very slow uh, in terms of being able to actually power anything out, but it does have the Prismari command, which I kind of like. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to try it. I, I have no idea what the right play is here, to be honest, um, but we'll just throw this out and see what happens. Uh, I guess we should have led with a ridge, but I don't actually think it matters that much. Okay, um... All right, we'll play this for red, and now obviously these will come into play untapped, which is fantastic. Um, and we'll see what happens. Cool. Uh, that's a great target for the Prismari Command. The Prismari Command also is going to give us a treasure token or discard us a couple of cards, depending on how we want to do it. Um, and I think the play is just going to be two damage to a creature. Um... And I'm going to do this. I, that may not be 100% correct. I'm not sure. Um, but I do kind of just want to get this going uh, as quickly as we can here. And I I guess we go ahead and play this. I really don't know. Uh, we're learning on this deck, like I said. So I, I don't know what the right play is. We're just going to give it a shot and have some fun. Um, hopefully it works out okay. Now this does give us a learn trigger. Uh, just something to keep in mind here. <coughs> um... 
So we may find ourselves utilizing that a little bit. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, let's attack in. Uh, I'm trying to think. We can get a learn trigger off of this, but that's not that helpful. Um, but I guess we can pull... Let's just go ahead and do this. This, does, this doesn't seem great, um, but we're going to give this a shot uh, and pull... I think just environmental sciences and go ahead and play it. I'm just going to kind of deck thin as much as we can here. Uh, gain a little bit of life as well, and let's go ahead and get that blue source. It's going to make it a little easier to play the Demi Lich. Um, this is not turboing out the Lich at all, uh, which is fine. I, I, again, I think we're playing this maybe a different way that isn't necessarily correct. I think we could have turboed this into the graveyard with the Prismari command maybe gone that route um but that's okay all right cool uh yeah so we actually have an interesting decision if we want to attack here and i actually think we do um they just get to block but we actually get to learn in response so that's kind of fine all right cool um so this is actually quite an interesting card. Uh, let's do this. We're going to discard some stuff. Uh, let's discard you, you. Let's just discard it all. Let's do it all. Uh, we can consider... Uh, yes, we'll put that into the graveyard. We really don't need another land. Wow, we just have so many lands. My goodness. Um... All right, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, just getting a lot of lands is not really going to help us here. But uh, wow, they ditched two Binding of the Old Gods. That's pretty big, actually. Uh, now, this is going to start hitting us for a lot. Wow, OK, cool. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say no blocks. Yep. Is this just OK? No, it's not. I was about to say. Um, all right, let's do this. We gotta play it, um, but I don't actually think we can win here. Um, I think we have to do all of these, but we can't even play anything off of this, so they just get to double all their power and toughness. That's so good. Um, we're gonna let's try an attack here, but fully expect that to die. Yeah. Um, and I think this is a pretty solidified loss for us. Um, drawing four lands off of that was really bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and concede here. Let's just move on. We know we're not going to win that game. I think we played it incorrectly and definitely didn't keep the best hand. So let's just see what we can do in the next one. We'll see if we can do a little better. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and the question again is, do we keep this? Um, and I don't know. Um... I'm gonna try it. We've got the Eye Witch. These are obviously gonna come into play tapped, which isn't necessarily great, but uh, interesting. Okay, um, but we'll see. This might be the Aura style deck. I truthfully think this deck could be turboed a lot better in terms of uh, like playing Tormenting Voice and things like that. We just don't have any of that, uh, which isn't necessarily great. So. I think that might be the biggest problem with this. Uh, let's play the red side here. We do want to make sure we've got access to that. And I think we'll just play the Eye Witch with the expectation we're just going to end up blocking something. Um, but we do get a Learn Trigger off of that, which is quite good. But we could get the Retriever Phoenix, the Phoenixes and the Demi Liches kind of wherever we need them. Um, and then you know, be able to discard a bunch of stuff and then hopefully bring it all back. Like, I think that would be the better play. But, um, obviously, that's just my opinion. Like, I don't know for sure that that's the right thing. Um, we'll definitely get environmental sciences here just so we can gain a little life and make sure we hit our land drops. Okay. Um, so, what we can try, and they're very careful to leave up some mana here, which is definitely correct. Um... Let's take this a bit slow. Let's do this. Um, not super slow, of course, but we definitely need to... Uh, let's environmental sciences. This is going to guarantee us the next land, uh, which is very important. 
um, and gain us a little bit of life here. Fully expect them to just go ham on one of these turns, or they're just playing it safe, it seems like, maybe so far, but um, they're doing a very, very good job of getting around the burn aspect, uh, which is clever. I mean, they need to. All right. Uh, let's do this. We'll learn. Retriever Phoenix seems really bad on turn four. <laughs> it's just a 2-2 with flying. Granted, it can just get in there for an attack, which is quite helpful, but <clears throat> um, doesn't seem that great. Let's take an Illuminate History. I feel like Illuminate History is quite a useful card. <clears throat> I am going to attack in here. They've got three cards in hand. Um, I expect maybe one of those to be a land because they've hit a land drop every turn. Maybe not, but all right, cool. That's fine. Uh, perfect. All right, you got it. Yep, there's a land. Okay, let's do this. I think we have to go for it. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's tap you, you for red. You for blue, and you for any other color. Alright, deal two damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's create a treasure. So let's try and deal two here. Fully expect that this isn't going to work. Um, no doubt in my mind it's not going to work. But what this allows us to do is play the Demi Lich off of the treasure token. And we're forcing them to defensively play a instant or sorcery here if they've got it. Uh, which I think is worth it, so... Wow, okay, they didn't have it. Uh, that's interesting. Did not expect that. I fully expected that to uh, be a dead card, but it's fine. I like it. Let's play the Demi Lich here. Let's get this down. Uh, again, whenever this attacks, we're able to replay Incense and Sorceries from our graveyard. So Prismari Command, Blood Chief's Thirst, all of those are really, really nice. Okay, sure. You got a Fateful Absence. It's actually okay, because we can just replay this at some point, so... That is fine. Uh, that's not great, but might be able to make something happen here. Sure. All right. A consider, you say. Um, hmm. Well, what do we want to do? Um, I think I'm going to do this. And we're going to discard everything. Cool. Um, I'm going to play the Eye Witch here. All right. So this is just going to get us another learn hit, um, which actually can just return the Retriever Phoenix from the graveyard and kind of give us infinite, not infinite, but good solid creatures uh, here. I'm so glad we got rid of these, uh, the Leon and Light Scribes. Those are so annoying. <laughs> uh, yep, makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, we just have to block. These have decayed, so it's not really useful to, to plan on blocking those. All right. Get that Retriever Phoenix back. Um, we actually, the, the fading hope here is going to be kind of useful um solely because they put so much time and effort into this and now we just gotta get to <laughs> wow why did they give up i don't think we necessarily had it there um all right i'll take it we gotta win uh let's move on to game three <laughs> all right guys here we are for game number three against spatula uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a relatively easy keep. Um, we get to, let's see, let's throw this out. Um, and we'll just pass. I mean, we're going to otherworldly gaze here, but let's make them think, I guess, that we have something here. Um, yep. Put any number of them into our graveyard. Uh, the rest back on top of your library. I think we just keep the Prismari Command. Prismari Command is just so good, especially against any kind of creature deck here. 
Um, just seems worth it. Let's do this, and I think we just pass again. We'll use Otherworldly Gaze once again. I feel like this deck could be a lot better. I feel like it's not, it's not pushed the way it could be. Um, and maybe that's incorrect, I don't know, but interesting. Um, I kind of don't want any of these. I'm just going to toss them all in the graveyard. Uh, yep. So, positive news. We can Prismari Command and kill that. Um, definitely want to play the blue source here. Let's do this. Let's deal two damage. And... I think we just create a treasure token. Uh, now, we can play the Eye Witch off of that. Is that worth it? I'm gonna say yes. That might not be, I don't know, that might be overly aggressive on the, the Eye Witch end, but we'll see. This uh, Goblin's deck has a very high likelihood of just killing us, <laughs> uh, truth be told, but it is what it is. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's very good. Um, all right, now I'm really glad I played the Eye Witch because that's frustrating as heck. Alright, give me something. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? One damage to any target is not going to do it. Um, might just be that. It's not super exciting, to be honest, but it's a... It's a card. Um, I'm just going to play it and discard the hand here. We do get a 3-2 out of the deal, so that at least is going to eat a burn spell, maybe. But, I mean, chances are we're we're pretty dead here. Uh, yep. That's super good. I think we weirdly just have to kill the Relic Robber. Um, but, I mean, we're, we're pretty dead. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take the action. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think, um, I think it's pretty clear we're, we're not gonna make this one work. Um, we'll attack him for three and let it die. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's... Let's go ahead and concede. We'll play one more game. I want to see if we can get another win. Again, this is not a high hopes kind of deck, uh, but that's okay. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our final game, uh, and let's see what we can do. Um, do we keep this? I think we do. Uh, it's not super exciting, but I mean, it's fine. We'll keep. Uh, the trouble is this shipwreck marsh, because uh, we don't want to play this for not red. That's kind of the, the trick here. Um, I think we'll just do this and lead on the consider. We'll just consider our options. Um, but I think that that might be just the best play, just to be efficient. Um, cool. All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll put that in the graveyard. We've kind of got the lands that we need, so that's not really a problem. Yep. Um, I'm going to do this and we'll pass. So next turn we Shipwreck Marsh, um, probably just play Eye Witch, or I guess we get first day of class and then Eye Witch, so we also get a learn mechanic out of it, or a learn um, trigger, not mechanic. Uh, Jund. Interesting. Um, okay. And no plays. Uh, fascinating. Okay, so let's do this. What do we want? Um, I suppose we just take environmental sciences. We don't. We really should have put more removal in the sideboard, probably, but that's fine. Um, we'll attack for two. Go ahead and trade blows here. There's not a whole. Re there's not a ton of. There's not a lot. Of, there's not a major reason not to. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, all right. Yeah, dude, you got it. 
Um, so we can actually kill Ren and Seven here, uh, which I think is just the play. Um, they do get to keep, obviously, the giant 5-5, five five, which is scary, but... Um, I guess we'll take this. All right. Let's do this. Get that Renin 7 out of there. Um, and just see what happens. Uh, curious to see if they actually block. I mean, it's a free block. They definitely should. Um, but I don't know if they're going to or not. They might just say, ah, we'll take it. Because it's going to die anyway, so why not? But Okay, there we go. They're going to kill the Eye Witch. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. It's the one that can't come back. Alright, what do we got? Um... We'll just take this. We don't really want to stack up too many things in our hand with the Illuminate History. I mean, we can choose not to discard everything, but um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. This deck does not seem optimized. Uh, Fisher King is, again, no no um, hard feelings towards you or anything like that. I just feel like we could do better with this. Um, but we'll see. It doesn't actually seem that focused on the Demi Lich. Uh, and the only major changes I did was to create better efficiencies. Um, as in, like, including Blood Chief's Thirst n instead of uh, some of the other removal spells that you initially had. So, I don't know. I mean, it's fun. It's cool. I just don't think it's super powerful. Uh, yep. And it's got just so many cards like this that feel like they're not doing anything. Um, and maybe that's incorrect, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just not not thinking about it properly, but... I think the play is to throw the Retriever Phoenix out. We're gonna learn, we'll steal this, and then we just pass with Village Rights up. We're kinda gonna have to block this. <laughs> um, and we can block this as well, just for the sake- if they attack with it, just for the sake of blocking. Um, they kill both of our phoenixes. Alternatively, we can just rotten reunion and get Ren and Seven out of there. The the token here can't block, obviously, so that's something to think about. Yep. Yep. Um. Okay. Yep. It's really cool. I love Valakut Exploration. It's just an interesting card. Um, yep, Resolve All. Most likely going to Village Rites one of these Phoenixes once we block the Tree Folk here. Uh, it doesn't have Trample, so that damage still gets... Oh, mean. Very mean. Okay, so they're going to destroy a land. Chances are it's the Shipwreck Marsh. Um, oh, it's not the Shipwreck Marsh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I I mean, I get why. I definitely understand why they did that. Um, Alright, then let's village rights this. Let's draw a couple cards. Destroy target land. The target land. Okay. Interesting. Alright. And we didn't draw any lands. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um... I mean, yeah, there's not much we can do about that. Um, I guess we can Environmental Sciences for a blue source here, just to keep the lands coming. Uh, it doesn't seem great, but it is what it is. Um, whew, uh, yeah, we're going to be pretty dead here, I think. Let's do this. Put uh, one of them into your hand. We definitely want the red source. I guess we should have waited and done that first, uh, but that's fine. All right. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they kind of just have us here, I think. Cool. Steal our land. That makes sense. Whoops. Sorry, guys. There we go. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, unfortunately, there are just a lot more powerful lists out there, especially, I mean, I wouldn't even consider this one of the most powerful lists, albeit it is quite good. Um, 
but you can tell like we're we're playing two twos and one ones and they've got a nine nine like there's not a ton we can do about that uh which is fine i mean that's not the end of the world but um it is what it is I think we definitely could have done more for the discard element of this deck uh, to, to theoretically replay a lot of these Phoenixes in the same turn, as well as the Demi Lich. But I just think the Demi Lich is also potentially just a difficult card to deal with or, or to play. Excuse me. Um, I get where the efficiency can come in, but I think we just it, it's not quite there. Not in standard, at least. I think you could make a case elsewhere, but I, I don't think in standard it's going to ever be that good um and maybe i'm wrong i don't know um it just doesn't seem like it uh yeah we'll get the phoenix back all right so that is the nice part about this is you just get to replay these phoenixes of course but uh yeah um I don't really think it matters which we kill here, but I guess let's be technically correct and kill the Lotus Cobra. Um, and then we'll just play this. We need blockers. <laughs> uh, yep. We don't have very many cards left in our sideboards, so... Oh yeah, we just get to do that. All right, cool. I mean, <laughs> that's the best we can do. Yep. That's so good. Um, if they don't have a Shia in this deck, I feel like that's a mistake. A Shia would be so sick here. Um, because then, like, all these would be lands that would trigger Valakut exploration three times. Like, that's just cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're not doing so hot. Um, I don't know. I, I still think that the idea of this deck could be really cool. I think we could have done a better job, so that's fine. Uh, yep. That's a big boy. Uh, yep. And the problem is we don't even have, like, sweepers or anything that can, like, we can't do anything about any of this. Um, we're going to take one. All right. Um, these all have trample. They do. All right. So we're like super dead next turn. All right. Let's do this just for the sake of doing it. And then we'll die. Sure. Do this, we'll just exile Renan 7, it doesn't matter. And then we'll concede, alright. <laughs> Let's chat about this. Alright, so this deck is not good. I mean, truthfully, it's uh, the idea of trying to replay Demi Lich and the Retriever Phoenixes, I think is still a cool one, but I just don't think it's efficient enough uh, to work. Now, can it be better? Definitely. Uh, I think with things like Tormenting Voice, focusing a little bit more on the discard outlet and then being able to, to you know, basically reuse the Tormenting Voices just to play the Demi Lich, I think is important. Um, I do also think you need big pay Offs in this kind of list and we don't really have a big payoff card um, there's no like big game ending instant or sorcery that we're playing here all Ron's epiphany is an example like something that we can really throw out there that should be able to win us the game or at least get us very very close and in an advantageous position I don't think this deck has it I think it's filled with little tiny spells that are fine uh in terms of m playing multiples per turn and you need some of that for the demi lich but i just don't think they're good enough uh truthfully i think it's fun i think it's a very fun deck i just don't think it's that good uh we may try and revisit this at some point but we'll probably do it after crimson val uh just because you know we get a new suite of cards we might be able to make something happen but overall 
not my favorite i'll be honest uh fisher king please again i i have no idea who you are you may never watch this that's totally fine but uh i just want to again credit the the creator of the deck who is fisher king and make sure that it's understood this is just for fun anyway so i'm not trying to you know say your deck building sucks or anything like that um but i just wanted to uh thank you for putting the deck together thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video like it give us a sub it would really mean a lot uh but until next time guys i'll see you later thanks Thanks for watching.